Hi, this is Susie. Thanks for joining me for this short version of the Anxiety and Depression Yoga Sequence. You can pause the video at any point where you want to spend a little bit longer on the practices. bring yourself up to stand. Start to work through the joints, beginning with the ankles, moving up to the knees, into the hip joint, swinging the leg forwards and backwards. You can use a wall to steady yourself here or you can sway the arms as well. And then circling into the hip joint. Then go through the joints on the second leg. Pay attention to the joint as you move it. Moving into the wrists, creating some circles with the wrists and into the elbows, into the shoulders. If there's any way you feel you need to revisit or stay a bit longer, just pause the video and take a bit more time here. Opening into the shoulders, the neck, slow soft movements in the neck and the jaw, circling the jaw. If a yawn comes out, let the yawn come out. <sighs> Standing with the feet a little bit wider than the hips, start to sway the arms around by the side, moving into a gentle twist. Notice how the shoulders move freely from side to side, and the arms hang heavily, feeling the air on the skin. Start to breathe in as you draw one arm alongside the body into the air, and as you breathe out, lean over to the side. As you breathe in, focus on the other arm, taking it up into the air. And as you breathe out, lean to the side. You can continue to flow in and out of that sidewards bend, opening the side of the ribs, expanding the lung, freeing up the diaphragm. Or you could pause on one of the sides and take a little bit longer to breathe into that side. When you've finished, let the arms relax down by the sides, bend the knees and move into your chair flow. As you inhale, the arms float up, the knees bend. As you exhale, you come back to standing. So you can choose to tailor this and spend a little bit longer in the chair position. If you've got an excess of energy that you want to burn through, or if you need to boost the energy, you can also include your forward fold for an extra calming effect here. When you've completed the chair flow, bring yourself down onto the ground, lying on the back, Begin with a little neck release, rolling the head slowly from side to side or circling the head, keeping the back of the head resting on the ground. You can do a few jaw releases here too. Then move into the flowing bridge. As you inhale, press into the feet, slowly lift the bottom, the lower back, the middle back, up towards the shoulder blades and as you exhale, gradually lower back down. You can flow in and out or you could hold the bridge position. That can be useful if you've got anxiety or agitation in the body, or if you're feeling there's depression present either in body or mind, that can really help to boost your energy and your mood. When you've completed, bring yourself back up to sit, stretch one leg out in front of you, bend the other knee, place the foot on the inside of the leg. You might want to sit up on a block or folded blankets or cushions, it's not quite comfortable for you to sit up straight. So here you're breathing in, in the upright position, and then breathing out as you fold forwards. Sitting up and breathing in is slightly more stimulating. Breathing out and folding forwards is a bit more relaxing. 
So if you want to increase the calming effects, you can spend longer breathing out and folding forwards, maybe even holding the pose at the end of the out breath, maybe even staying there and taking a few breaths in the forward fold position. shake if you've been practicing that for a few minutes. When you're ready bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees open. You're breathing in in the upright position, breathing out in the forward fold position. And if you notice any emotion arises, stay with the physical sensation of the emotion. You can notice if you start to get hooked into any story or any reason or return back to the physical down on the floor, start to work through a tense and release process, maybe beginning with the feet and working up through the body. You can start with 100%, tensing as you breathe in and releasing as you breathe out, and you can go to 50%, 25%. You can do the whole body together, tensing the whole body as you breathe in and releasing as you breathe out. slowly onto the side, make your way back up to sit. Now we move into the restorative section. You can either do each one of these poses to help to balance the body, the nervous system, or you can choose the most appropriate one. So the first one is slightly more stimulating. So if you're feeling that depression is present in body or mind, and you want to uplift or slightly energize, take this first pose and you can stay here. With the blankets going underneath the shoulder blades, not underneath the tips of the shoulders. You can either have the arms out to the side or over the head. You might want to have support underneath the knees here. Once you're there in the position, check the body feels comfortable. Then let your attention settle on your breath. continues to have thoughts. Notice those thoughts as if they're birds outside the window. You can let them continue whilst your main attention stays on the breath. The second pose is a supported child's pose with a pile of blankets or cushions, rolled up sleeping bag or duvet underneath the body. Half of the time here with one cheek to the support, and then you can turn to the other cheek. The final pose option is the refreshing pose, legs in the air. You can also do this with your legs resting against the wall. This is a nice calming pose for the heart. It helps to return the blood flow back to the heart without the heart having to pump hard to bring it back. You might find it also has a calming effect as well as a refreshing or rejuvenating effect. When you've completed your restorative postures, take a moment to rest. Rest down on the ground. Feel the earth underneath as the body softens. Body and the breath. 